What's up guys, welcome to your 40th Java tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be building the set hour, set minute, and set seconds methods. Now we already um, got the data from them, the data that we need in the last tutorial so hopefully you watched that because you need this code anyways. But if you did and typed everything up then that's good, you're good to go. So let's go ahead and build first the set hour function, or excuse me, method. It's the same thing as a function pretty much. I just spent uh, around C++ all day, so anyways. Public void, since it doesn't return anything, and set hour. And what argument does this take? Int h. It takes just the hour, since again, we're only setting the hour, nothing else. Now, in this, what we want to do is check if the data is between 0 and 24 and if it is it's valid if not we're just gonna set it to default like 0 or something and by or something I mean 0 so let's take that hour and first let's make a simple if statement is the hour greater or equal to 0 and where's my and 7 right there again I put stickers on my keyboard so it's kind of annoying and is the hour less than 24 you're gonna say alright if that is true then you can go ahead and use the hour else if it's not true go ahead and put zero so again this is a conditional expression or um, it's pretty much just the same as an if statement what this is gonna do is check if that hour is between zero and pretty much make sure that the hour is greater than zero and less than 24 and if it is use it if not use zero so now do the same thing for minute and second, except when we use this, um, we want to change our minute and second, and we also want to change this minute and second, and we also want to change this minute, and don't use a capital, and second, and also want to change this minute minute second second and instead of having let me check this uh, data real quick in minute 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 instead of having 24 you want to change these to 60 since with minutes and seconds it doesn't need to be between 0 and 24 it needs to be between 0 and 60 so that's why we do that so now that we got our hour minute and second built what's this say right here duplicate method second hour and type two that's good we're good to go um, hour minute second what we need to do this is what it was saying right here set minute and set second so then now that we got our check for hours our check for minute and check for second what we can do now is write get methods just to get them since we write a set method to change data if need be if it's bad and we need a get method to pretty much when we're retrieving our data um, this is what we need this method for so let's go ahead and write public int and the first one we want is get hour so get hour and this is going to take no parameters and what it's going to do is this is the easiest thing you'll do all day get return hour right there so what this is going to do is pretty much take this and return it. So let's copy this and keep up with me because it's going to be a little too easy. Get minutes and this one's going to return a minute and get second and this one is going to return a second. So now that we have f uh, three set statements and three get methods, I mean uh, set methods get methods we need one more method and I promise this is the last one the last method that we need is pretty much just a formatting method and this pretty much just spits it all out or a display method so like last time I'm gonna put public string since this is gonna return a string and after string I'm just gonna name it I'll put like two to military time, since so we'll do military time. Military time is a lot easier than normal time. And this isn't going to take any parameter since it's just going to return a string. So, what we want to return is let's go ahead and string format. 
and again it tells us we need two arguments and the first argument is let me get rid of this it annoys me the first argument is how we want to format so we want to format percent zero two d percent zero two d colon percent zero two d so percent zero two d percent zero two d percent zero two d and this means the hour the minute and the second is each going to have two decimal places so for the first one for the hour it says what number do you want to use well we want to use whatever number what was returned in our get hour method right there for our second one for our minutes we want to use whatever was returned in our get minute method right there and for our last one of course get second right there so now these functions let me double check this make sure it's good these functions are good to go we built all the methods that we need and again whenever I say functions I really mean methods I'm just uh, just another language those methods are all we need so now we can go in our main apples class right here and we can begin building our objects now again whenever we're gonna go ahead and create four different objects because we had four different constructors and actually I'm gonna be doing that in the next tutorial so as you can see we have one constructor two one two three four so in the next tutorial I'm gonna be building four different objects each to use these constructors in four different ways and then I'm gonna be summing up and telling you how this whole program works and actually what the heck we just did and then you're gonna understand it awesomely so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next tutorial